What's up, boys and girls? It's Tarkov time. So, uh, it's the world of media has been kind enough to grant me a pass to get into this game. Uh, I have no idea how to play it, so we're gonna start super conservatively by just trying to figure out what is going on in the game. This is the ultra, ultra realism, mega realism game of survival doom. I got Zenergy here with me. Say hi. Hello. So I'm gonna see if I can get into a uh, game here. Oh yeah, it's loading up. Cool. So what I don't know here is that I'm literally going into a bot match and there's no other players in the game. I didn't know what I was doing and I clicked the do not continue thing. So you're going to see me run around for a while and the result is going to be that nothing really happens in the end because I'm just killing bots. Get ready. Deploying. So there you go. Uh, so this is a raid. Uh, we can do see what we took with me. My tactical rig, my helmet, my goggles, my body armor, backpack. And this gamma pouch, this gamma container. Here's my health. I don't have any skills because I just started this character. We can look at the map, but we don't have one in our inventory, and we can take notes. So, whoop, and I just shot a bullet. Did and you choose bear or Usec? I chose Usec, I think. I also only took one magazine with me, guys, so this might not go super well. Um, the color looks a bit washed out. I don't know if that's by design or something that I did. So, we have um, different options here, which we can assumably do different things with. I don't know how to scroll the options. Do -do, Damn, breach. I'm tired of this walking. Pretty sure that was my character saying he's really tired of walking. Oh, and I don't think I, like I said, I don't think I have any more... Any more bullets, so I have like 15 shots and that's it. And I just need to stop wasting them, probably. So this is the world you spawn into. There's no HUD, there's no no reticle, no aim. You just have to ADS everything. And the objective of the game is to loot stuff. Uh, it's kind of PUBG-esque in that sense. Uh, if you guys have been playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds at all. It's kind of in that sense you come in and you're trying to raid and find things and then successfully exfiltrate. Now normally I would have a map, but I did not equip myself properly, so I do not have a map. So you can hear me huffing and puffing there. On the bottom left you can see there's a green bar. It's a stamina bar. Frequently we'll find all sorts of things around that we can search or look through. Uh, there's boxes and crates and things on the ground and other places. Uh, movement is designed to feel as realistic as possible, so compared to like every other video game, it feels super, super tight. Uh, like if you're running, like watch, if I run and then I stop, there's like a, a moment of slide almost, I guess is the word I'd be looking for. Pressing F to search through here, and it will take a second to search through, and we found a a site, uh, I don't know what this is, and a magazine, and a pistol magazine, nice. So this pistol magazine is a 9x19 FMJ mag, which is what we need for our MP443, but we don't have any bullets yet, and it doesn't have any bullets in it. So if we did find bullets for it, we would actually need to load those bullets in manually. Um, carry the bullets over to the gun. Um, it's ultra realism. So that's basically what we're going to do is we're going to hunt for crates and boxes, at least to start with, because I didn't choose to bring any weapons with me. Anything you bring with you into Tarkov that doesn't, uh, that if you die, it, it, it's gone. It doesn't come with you, so you will die. <laughs> And I have PvE mode enabled, so there should be a fairly large number of uh, NPCs about in various areas. A boot. But yeah, we're gonna just we're just gonna look around and try to find stuff, basically. Did you manage to make it in, Zenergy? I'm in my yeah. I'm just putting myself a pistol, and then I um, guess I'll load in more. I mean, I'm j I just grabbed just a pistol, so I think we can disconnect from this game if we want to, but again, like I said, if you leave the server, 
uh, you lose everything. Now, that's why I only took a pistol with me, because I didn't really know what I was doing, and I don't have a map, so... I should have, like, I should have at least brought a map with me. That would have been smart. But this is a first look, and I wanted to get in without anything else, uh, anybody else, or any experience at all. Uh, I've seen, like, one video about how to play this game, and it was somebody who was, like, way later on in the game, so... It doesn't even tell you actually like what key to loot with. You just have to press F. So, and uh, we should have control for crouch or C for crouch, and then we should also have a prone. Tarkov is the city, I think. When it's this, this escape from Tarkov is like the city, and there's going to be certain areas on the map that are going to be marked. Um, if I had a map that you would see. And those marked areas on the map are the areas that are like exfiltration points. So once you kind of fill up yourself with loot, you go over to those exfiltration points and then you can get yourself some uh, loot to go back out to put in your stash to sell. To oh, there are skills too. Yeah, there's a skill tree that I haven't really looked at much yet. I think it's cumulative from game to game. Since I didn't bring a map, or I don't have a map, I don't really know where I'm going. Just kind of wandering. There's a case on the floor here. Should be able to search that. Nope. Ah, but here is some herring, which is always good. So we do have uh, hunger in this game. I don't know exactly how it works, but oops, that's the, uh, sorry, I guess that's the chemical. We do have her hunger. Uh, here it is on the bottom. So you can see we're carrying. 24 of 40 kilograms available to be carried. Uh, we have 435 health of 435, and we have 88 thirst out of 100, and a 99 out of 100 energy. So we do have that that aspect, that survivally aspect in the game. Um, locked. So I'm guessing we could find a key and unlock that if we looked. So the raids are timed. This one was a 60 minute raid. Uh, I don't think it's gonna take us that long to die, because like I said, I only brought a pistol with me. I'm not really super well prepared for this. Uh, okay. Gotta be careful of stuff like barbed wire, because it will hurt you. Oh, there's an NPC right there. I think he's dead. Um, hello? Got him. It's good, because now I have no more bullets. <laughs> so we can go and hopefully pick up the bullets off of his dead body. Uh, he did not shoot at me at all, which is super weird. I wonder if that was a player or not, a... uh, I have better armor than him. I can, uh, take his AK, though. And he's got a bayonet. No. Didn't have a attack rig or anything, so we don't need to search through that. We have better armor than him, and he didn't have a backpack. Oh, here, we can search through this. I had to scroll down. Okay, so we'll search his tack rig. I hope he had bullets. He did have bullets. Oh, he had a lot of bullets. Whew. Boy had a lot of bullets. Yo, boy had a lot of bullets. Let's check out what was in his pockets. A bandage. Nothing wrong with a bandage. And uh, how about his backpack? Oh, nothing? Okay. So there you go. Now we have an AK, which is always useful. And because I put those magazines in my tactical harness here, I can reload from the tactical harness. And I have 30 of 30. Um, I may have dropped that magazine. Yes, I did. So if you press R too quickly, it'll drop the magazine on the ground. And you obviously don't want to do that. You want to keep them up if possible. So that's how we have 30, 60, 90, 120 rounds there, but nothing for our pistol. Now, if we did have another... We had bullets. We could load them on there. Let's see. Can we... What is this? Inspect. I don't know if we can uh, modify 
In the middle of the, yeah, I can't. Looks like we can't modify stuff in the middle of the raid. I was gonna try to stick that site on the top. Let's go take a look in this building. See what's up over here. Several options for getting indoors. There's opening, breaching, and clearing, which is like a kick. Did you manage to get in? Zen? Yeah, I mean, I'm in the. I'm in the game. I don't know what I should do. Are we going to play at the same time, or is this by yourself, or? Yeah, we have to like link up. Hang on one second. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Should I go into the game? Is there yeah, a different yeah, yeah. server? I think it, no. I don't think so. So if I hold F, it does like a breach and clear with my foot, like a kick, which is cool. It's another car here. Mostly empty car. Is there anything in the trunk? Nope. Oh, okay, so you can play as a, a bandit if you want, or your main character. Yeah, you can play as like a as like a scav. Yeah. Yep. And then the scavs blend in with the scav NPCs and they you can kill them, so Do you know where you started at? Um I think I started at the topmost one that's unlocked. Woods. Yeah. So this is the fence, guys, and I think the fence is is how we get out. I just don't know exactly where the exit is. It'd be good to get out because we did get we got an AK already, so wouldn't be upset with leaving. Yeah, I'm by like a road in the on the wood. I spawned in on the woods, and I just kind of went towards a, a road I found. Looks like an area I can't get to over there. Oh, what is your nickname? I think I can search for you. Fiona. See, there's something over here. Maybe there's something in this floating trash can over here. Oh, oh, just water. So there's an incredible number of sites, magazines, and other things in this game. Uh, and you can equip most of them to most of the weapons, so... There's this old adage about people who are lost going in circles, and uh, I'm reasonably sure that I'm doing that at the moment, so... Forgive me. Your guys name doesn't come up. Wandering in circles. Jump in and did see what happens. Did you do happens. the short in-game time or the long in-game time? I think I did the short one. Okay. Let me let me just let me actually just connect and see if we can go back. Oh, actually I can't. It's like it's like a penalty for leaving the raid. That's dumb. Well, it's probably not dumb, to be fair. It's probably enforced necess a necessary piece of enforcement. Maybe I can just die horribly. Where's a grenade when you need one? Hopefully we'll see another enemy, and I can let that guy kill me. Oh, peas. Always good, and condensed milk. Now you know we're in Russia. There's just a random can of condensed milk. You should uh, practice in a little bit and see what happens. Just get in a game and check it out. Yeah, it's attempting to load the map. It took me a little while. This game is a very big map. So if I just press F, it just does like a regular door open. But if I hold F, it does the whole breach and clear move. Not sure how to knock it down. Oh, it's dark. It's very dark. Oh, see, I'm, yeah, I'm in midday ish. And full of terrors, I think. 
The night is dark and full of terrors. Someone's gonna watch this video in a year and not recognize that reference at all. That's uh, Melisandre to Stannis Baratheon. So let's see how we're doing on. Uh, we need some water. Does that give us water if we drink condensed milk? Not really. Ah, the mouse wheel controls how fast you run or walk. What? If you mouse up or down, you slow down your walk speed. Holy shit, that's weird. I mean, I'm just holding shift as I run, so... I see lots of trees. There are a lot of trees. So if you look at the... You can't look at the controls list while the game is going, but if you look at the controls list after the game is not running anymore, you'll see that there's a bunch of stuff like night vision and things that you can turn on. Stop. Yuntar, go home. Ooh. Some political commentary. There we go. Here's an entry to this base. Hopefully we can find some nasty-ass enemies over here. I've literally only seen one other person, and I killed him and took an AK and a bunch of bullets off him so far, so... I hear some shooting in the distance, so I'm going toward it. That's what you're supposed to do, right? That's how you do it. What do we got here, boys? I like the search mechanic in this game, where you have to, like, wait. Oh, electronics. Uh, I know from, uh, let's open. I know from previous little bits that this is not, uh, that electronics can be very valuable. Oh, an MRE. Nice. That looks like it will be very valuable in the future. So I put those two DVDs into my stash box, which comes out with me no matter what. Uh, borrowing a mechanic from a game that I absolutely loved, The Division. That's actually a pretty good metaphor. So all of this game is kind of like playing the dark in the dark zone in the division. Like you run around and kill players and NPCs, loot them up, and then escape from an extraction point. All right, now we're gonna see if we can hook up in a game with Zenergy. Killed in action, 4:59 experience, a little over 30 minutes. Yep, yep, that's some good stats. Killed in action. Alright, escape from Tarkov. Let's let's uh let's take some uh oh wait, we've still got our pistol, I guess. Backpack, tactical rig. Let's take a grenade. Uh and a gun. What'd you take with you, Makarov? Something like that. I think I lost it. Now I have like a, a 9mm. That's it. I just took a 9mm and some med packs. Yeah, I have Curious, a M you know? MP443. Oh, I lost the gamma container. I thought you got to keep the stuff in your gamma container. That's frustrating. Alright, let's leave this grenade here then. I insured my stuff last time, but I don't think I kept to this stuff. So we need, let's take one mag for 9x19 FMJ with us as well, so... Full metal jacket. Uh, MP443. I'm gonna take one one spare mag with me, and uh, we'll go back. 
Uh, we can also go to trading, and in the trading menu, we can uh, look at different things we can sell and buy, but uh, we'll take a look at this later. So we have all this stuff, and he has whatever. Uh, we have zero pounds, zero dollars, but 980,000 rubles. So, yeah, rubles are nice. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get into a game. Escape from Tarkov. Uh, you want to go PMC, Sen? I guess, yep, sure. And then a spawn selection. Uh, how about woods? Woods, okay. And let's uh, select the Tom phase. 522. That says 516. For the purpose of enhancing testing capabilities, the beta version of this game includes a special offline mode that allows players to enter the raid alone. This mode can be used for exploration and testing of location, weapon adjustment, character testing, and other activities. Okay. Let's not enable offline mode. Uh, ready? Click next. Insurance, I'm not going to insure anything. I don't even have options for insurance. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have, no. I don't have options for insurance. Now I'm in the prepare for escape screen. I see you! Alright, let's click already up. Wait, 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 can I like do a group invite or something? Groups. Yeah, invite to group. I did I... it. Oh, yes! Uh, I have. Awesome. Alright, let's. Uh, you're now in charge, so take us in. Alright, guys, 36 minutes in, we got into the. The group now it's gonna deploy us out in the woods with synergy and hopefully we're gonna we're gonna Tarkov some stuff. Of course we have to, you know, make sure that there's uh team damage on, right? There absolutely is team damage. <laughs> well I mean you gotta check. I'll just like shoot you in the foot or something. Don't do that. My guy looks really serious. Yeah, does yours also have no neck? Yeah, no neck. It's a very strange character model without a neck. He's buff. He used to be a MMA fighter, probably. Or maybe he's wearing like a uh, one of those like bombs proof suits, you know? I hear birds. Um, his mine says matching 104. Yeah, mine too. So right now I think it's trying to get us into the game with other people. Um, basically, we're going to be trying to get in and see not to die immediately. Um, I didn't take any valuable guns with me. I don't think his energy did either, so... Did you, I want to see how hard it is to actually, like, loot up, you know, see if it's a challenge or not. I do believe it is uh, quite a challenge, because everybody else will likely have gone in with uh, guns. Well, this is interesting. So we keep waiting. Waiting. Oh, it's doing something now. Oh yeah, waiting server response. Oh, oh, I hear crickets. Oh no, it's gonna be nighttime again. I have a flashlight on my gun. I came prepared. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let me look at what the what the night. Are you supposed to be near me? Uh, I don't know. Hang on, one second. Oh, T for tactical is the light. I don't have a light.
I'm in a building. Did you spawn in the building? Uh, no, I'm in the woods. I hear a fire around me. I think I'm next to the train track. Okay, hang on one second. I hear fire? Yeah, I hear fire. I just took three steps running. Did you hear that? No. I'm standing on some train tracks. Next to a building. Okay, hang on. I'm in... I'm in the woods. I mean, like, the woods. <laughs> Okay. Alright, I know there's a button for night vision. It's in, but did you wear your night vision goggles? Yes. Oh god, bullets! Oh, I heard that. I'm getting shot at. I'm running toward the bullets. That's your attack light over there. I see your attack light. Nope, nope, that's not me. I don't have my light on. Oh, okay. Someone has a tack light on. I'm running up on the shooting. Ow! I'm hit. <laughs> he's got he's got his light on. The shooting stopped. He's got his light on. I see him. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I think I see him. I hit him. He doesn't have NVGs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that you? Uh, no. Nope, I thought you said you didn't have your flashlight on. I don't, no, no, I don't, but I'm close to where he is. He's behind a tree over here? Yeah, I'm running up, I'm running up. I'm coming in from his right, I think. Okay. He's behind a tree. He has flashlight on. Yeah, I can see him. I'm shooting at him. Did you down him? I think I killed him, yeah. Okay, I'm coming I'm to turn you. my light on, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm turning off night vision. Yeah. Oh, hey! What's up, buddy? I see your light. Hey, hey! That's me right here. Yeah. Hi! Is this a dead guy? This is a dead guy. Alright, let's see what this dead guy has. He has a headset. I don't know what that does, but he has a headset. Not much else. Holy shit. It's I'm fun. unloading his gun and taking his bullets. Can I, I need bullets pretty badly, so... Oh, he Do had... You have he the had, same bullets? He had uh, two mags. There's an airplane here. Shooting. I don't hear it. I'm taking his pistol. Is there like a compass or something? It's supposed to be a map. I don't know where it is. I think you have to bring a map. That's great. I dropped. Can you turn on your your flashlight? I dropped a. All right. Wait. Actually, I can night vision. Hang on. I can night vision. No. no turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. I dropped a oh, bag. Yeah, your face is green. I don't know where it is. I dropped a mag around here somewhere. Shit. Maybe try the flashlight. Let's see if you see a mag anywhere. It was like right next to his body. It doesn't work so well from close up. Alright, let's go. Turn off your light and follow me. I got night vision. I took some pretty heavy damage, so... I have no idea where you went. I took shots in the right leg, yeah. Where'd you go? I'm right in front of you. Walk straight. 
Nope, all the way, turn around. That's towards the burning plane. Turn around. Yeah, this way. Good. <laughs> you really can't see anything, can you? Nope, can't see anything. Nope. Okay, well, walk, walk straight. Yeah, I can see you now. You were like in a bush. Okay, walk straight. So NVGs make things really unfair. For me. <laughs> nah, I mean, I can see you, but you were like in a bush. I couldn't see you. It's difficult to see anything without them, to be honest. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go up this way a little bit. This is where I heard the shots coming from, but they sounded far, maybe. And as long as you don't meet up with somebody far. with an AK. If you took any loot, make sure you put it in your, your like stash box thing. Oh! Oh uh, something hit me. Okay? I'm down. Where are you? I'm down. I don't know, I was right behind you. <laughs> I don't see you. Superstar killed me. Oh! I got sniped or something. No no he's I just saw him moving around, I think. Yep, there he or is. Or he meleeed me. He meleeed you, I think. <laughs> I saw him. That was that was scary. He like Captain Kirked me. It's like boo, ugh, uh -huh. I died. Yeah, I'm gonna come get your shit. Hang on. Sucks that I can't like res you or anything. Okay, I'll just search through your dead body and take your stuff. Do you have any, um... That's some med kits. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. Where were they? Pockets or tech break? Um, my backpack. Sick. I'll take those. Oh, med kit. Thank you. Oh, you yeah, had two med kits. Wow, nice. I mean, isn't that guy still there? <laughs> nah, he like ran away. Yeah, he like booked it. I don't know where he went. Oh shit! Found him! He's dead. Oh shit. God damn, boy! Oh, his teammate's gonna kill me. There's so much shooting. Alright, we're gonna use this med kit. Whew. That guy's weird because he was like totally silent. His teammate Yeah, I mean, I didn't hear him walk up or anything. I just got hit in the back of the head. His teammate was still here, too, so. I got lucky he missed his first shot. Yeah, he he was complete Bambi. All he had was was that axe. Alright guys, there was another guy over here. He was on top of the hill when we were shooting at him. I don't think he's Oh that hurts. I don't know where he is, guys. He's up at the top of the hill still. His health kit again. Already hit it. Oh, he actually didn't hit us at all. Armor took the brunt of those shots. He must have envy as well, because he saw me, so. He was up here, guys. I don't exactly have I have six bullets left in this mag. And I have a couple of other partially full mags. I think I hit him and he ran. So. This is an intense game. I like this game so far. What do you think, Zen? Uh so far I've only seen trees and darkness. And death. You died one time. Don't forget that time you died. Uh, I did kill that guy too. All right, this is like some safety rocks over here, guys. So what we're gonna do is take a minute and we're gonna unload the ammo from these two 
I'm gonna load them in here. So that we have close to, as close to full of mag as possible. Unload ammo, load it. Alright, now we got we got one full mag. Unfortunately, if we use that mag up, we're gonna be in trouble. We got two more two more pistols here, so we can use one or both of those if we need to. I guess I'm just gonna book it away from those guys. I mean, I'm back to pretty much full health, so... I'm pretty okay with just running away from them. Turning off night vision is really weird. Oh, so there's some light over there. I was hoping we could flank that guy that was over here. Maybe we killed him and I just didn't notice. I think he just had a pistol though, so... Trying to make as much noise as possible so then hopefully I die soon. I saw movement right over here. Did you find loot? No. Where'd you get the health kits from? Inventory. Oh, okay. I'm looking at the trading screen. I thought you would use some sort of money to buy weapons and stuff, but it looks like you use loot to buy weapons, like trading, like barter. Yeah, it's it's barter system. Like you, to get an AK-74, you need like a Zippo, a Lego, <laughs> and some gunpowder. So guys, I have a fresh wound on my right leg, and I don't know how to how to uh, I don't know how to patch that. So hopefully, I don't know if that's from running through brambles or if I got from when I got shot. Well, you saw that little blood dot pop up on the left of the screen there. That meant that I had a fresh wound. a lot of shooting for very little effect. <coughs> well, I think there's some some open ground to cover over here, so let's let's get rid of our MVGs and Somebody shot me in the head, guys. I don't know what just happened there. Or I whacked my head on a tree. I mean, there's realism and then there's realism. Is it? And my arms just now, too. Is this radiation or something, guys? Look at, look at, I'm taking damage. See that in the corner there, guys? I don't know what that is. It's like... I must be in like a radiation zone or something. Or I have hunger or thirst issues, I guess. Let's check out this building and see what's up in here. Other than, holy crap, that's a lot of dead guys. Can we close this door? Yeah. Look at that! So... I literally have, I literally right now have damaged everywhere except for, what if we just use? Will that use it everywhere? Not 
really sure how I took damage to head and arms and ar and and whatnot. But hey, we'll just repair it all. Maybe it was a temperature thing or something. I hear someone. Also, guys, I'm definitely about to die. Oh, look, more pistols. Looks like that guy was... his pitch still is glitched. Can't get it out. Too bad. Oh, he's got bullets though. So I'll put these in here and we'll unload all these bullets and load them into our own magazines. Unload ammo, unload ammo. These are all zero. This one's 18. We'll keep that one. This one's 18. We'll keep that one. Uh, that guy had a lot of bullets. I guess I'll just jump into another game. I'm about to die. I don't know why, but I, I keep taking damage from my right leg which has something called fresh wound on it and I can't seem to get it back to full health probably some specialized bandage or shot or something you need Yeah. so just give me like another two minutes and then we'll come out this guy also had only a crappy pistol his at least isn't glitched let's see what he had in his tack rig and then I'm just gonna go outside and shoot up in the air to try to die horribly more bullets. Man, these guys had so many bullets. These guys had so many bullets. Oh, there we go. I got a bandage. I bet that'll do it. Maybe not. It's weird because, like, the first aid kit heals, but not enough to. Yeah, it says removes blood loss. Oh, that's a. F okay, I don't know how to stop fresh wound, I guess. Well, luckily, all I have is a bunch of pistols and stuff, so. So I run outside and die horribly, it will not be a big deal. It's starting to lighten up outside, which is really cool. I can see now. Still didn't find those railroad tracks that you were by, though. I don't know. Did you find railroad? You said you find ra found railroad tracks, right? Yeah, it was next to a factory or something. I didn't find any railroad tracks. I found the big factory, though. At least I think I did. I found a building with lights in it. gonna run on this road. Maybe you should start another game without me. I don't know. Give it a try. See what happens. Maybe I'll die before I find you.
Because I still have that weird effect, like that fresh wound, but it's not. Doesn't seem like it's bleeding as much anymore. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a few seconds if I die. Shot my gun up in the air and no one showed up. Does that mean I win the game? <sighs> Alright, I'm almost dead. My torso and my hips are fucked. I'm at less than half health. Now starts the coughing. Oh, the screen turned turned a different color. You can't run anymore. I die free. Getting hazy, it's energy. Did you start another game? No, no, I'm just waiting. Okay, well, my screen has turned red, so I'll be dead in a minute here. Oh, I found a tank. The tank does not make satisfying pinging noises when I shoot it. Disappointing. Fucking all funny. Walking all funny. This game sure does present dying in a weird way. Now my whole body is red. I'm coughing. What if I just shot all my bullets just to be a dick so that whoever comes to find my dead body doesn't get any bullets? Is that something I, that you would do? Does your body stay there, I guess? Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah, because I found two bodies from a guy in a building. Or two, go two bodies in a building, I guess. I mean, there wasn't a guy there. But I found two bodies in a building and they both had a shitload of loot on them. stuck guys that's it ah, that's it for old feet okay I got out I was like that's it I'm dead shooting all the bullets at nothing in the air making lots of noises cuz my body is dying Thing. I think we're pretty much back to the burning plane where I started, guys. <coughs> okay, we're down to 200 health, or less than half, guys. 
All of our body parts are red. Oh, I found the railroad tracks then. Cool. Uh, I can't jump anymore because I'm like dying. Alright, can I crouch underneath this? No. Is there a prone key? Confident if there was anyone else alive in the server, they would have come and found me by now. <coughs> All right, we're down to 100 health. I'm gonna try to jump off something high. Well, I can't jump. I can't jump. Oh yeah, once I get my stamina back, I can jump. Hang on. Oh, now my head is is dead. I'm gonna die next to your body's energy. Oh, there's like a bunch of red lines on my screen now. Alright, that's it. I used all of my bullets. And I'm dead in 30 seconds. Did you go to get some food or a soda's energy? Nope. I'm almost dead. I'm attempting to accelerate the process by jumping off of things, but it's not really working. So I'll just sit here and stare at my health tick down. 44. 40. Thirty-six. Thirty-two. Twenty-eight. Seven. Five. Four. Literally crawling on the ground. <coughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> Yay. 
So that was my first experience with Escape from Tarkov. It's a little bit rough around the edges, and I've since played some more, and I'll get you guys some of that later gameplay. But that was basically what I found out when I first went in. It's a pretty fun game. If you're into that whole survival game style of game, it's pretty fun. Uh, it definitely doesn't have like a focused objective to it yet. It's pretty much just doing these raids, and then you kind of come back out of the raid, and then you sell your stuff, and then that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you enjoyed this, make sure that you come back for much more content just like it later on from us. Make sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube. Check us out on Twitter, twitter.com slash kitsuga underscore gaming. And of course, check us out on Facebook. Just search for Kitsuka Gaming. Thanks for stopping by.